gonna put the matching lip mask on as well so I feel all uh, healthy and wonderful for the week ahead. I'm actually really excited to be here. I've actually never been to Liverpool before and I'm yeah I just can't wait to have a little explore. I don't want to like exhaust myself out straight away so I'm taking today to kind of relax and get over the journey that was yesterday um, but yeah the rest of the week I'm definitely gonna go out and have a little look around to what the city has to offer. <laughs> Wednesday and it is our first double show Wednesday in quite a while. We've been doing a few back to backs recently. So this is gonna be interesting. Interesting on the old board because it gets used to just like plummeting out loads of shows at the end of the week. But yeah, it'll actually be nice to do two shows today. Um, unfortunately, the weather is lovely outside, but it always happens. As soon as you have a double show day, the weather is beautiful outside, it's just our luck. But hopefully we can get in it in between shows and have a nice relaxing day. But Liverpool so far, I'm absolutely loving. I found um, a street yesterday that was full of vintage shops, vintage retro, like antiques, fashion, anything, anything you want, it's there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna head back down again. <laughs> Five months I never thought that this particular moment would happen so in um, she drives me crazy Josh and I do like this slow-mo kind of dancing thing where I'm trying to get away from him and he's trying to pull me back anyway we usually do this fake headbutt <laughs> and last night something wasn't quite right apparently and we actually headbutted cracked our brow bone together and I literally will never be able to describe the pen we were, we were like we were holding each other up just to try and make sure we were both okay because the shock that went through our body was unreal and today I'm struggling to move my eyebrow it's so swollen and bruised I've got, I mean, I've got way more movement in that one than this one. Look at it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's so swirling. So, yeah. I got back and I was so woozy as well. I was just sat there like, woo. And Emma was like, baby, you okay? And I was like, nope. So, I got loads of fluids down, mate. I've got a really long night's sleep. And I feel much better now, apart from, oh, pain. <laughs> the pain! Oh, I knew my 
way and a goddess would come out at some point. Look at me, I'm shining. Not really. It's just a glam glow mask that Amel let me use. Cause she's so nice. Oh, the violent month's kicking off. We've made it a thing every night this week. We just sit in the living room, we get some snacks or we get food if we need like proper food. And we just sit and we smash Love Island. And it's so bad. It's getting better. It's definitely getting better. I was quite reserved this year. I was like, mm, are they as interesting as past years? But you know what? They're getting there. Slowly but surely they are getting there. I have spent this entire day thinking it's Wednesday. I've actually spent the entire day thinking it's Wednesday. That's not even a joke. It's Thursday. I was like, shit, this week's got a bit slow, in it? Like, God, we've done, like, five, five shows already. How is it only Wednesday? <clears throat> it's not Courtney. It's Thursday. Get back to life. God. I was just about to do, like, an end-of-day catch-up. Be like, oh, God, double show. We got through it. Yeah, because it was yesterday, hon. Oh. Ooh. I'm tired today. I'm really tired. I didn't get to sleep until three. Three o'clock in the morning. Why? Why is that? It's almost twelve o'clock and I've just woken up now. Also, I had this horrible thing last night where I pulled out my nose ring. Again, do you remember I did it ages ago? Like, ages ago. I think it was in Wolverhampton or something. Um, yeah. I pulled up my nose ring, so then I had to wake up about, I think it was like 9, 10 this morning, and painfully put it back in after having it out the entire night, basically. So it's been a bit of a traumatic day's sleep. It's a pretty dramatically. Oh, so I really need to chill today. On a scale of 1 to 10, Tara, how happy are you right now? About 14. <laughs> about 14? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dance to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me. Oh, Danny Zuko. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sweatpants. <laughs> well, you can tell it's Friday night in Liverpool for sure because the audiences tonight were insane. They were like up and dancing from the word go. And I'm pretty sure some of them got told to sit down a few times because literally from the word go, they were like, why? Which is great. It's great for us. It's it's a great feeling to know that like the audience are with you straight away and that they're laughing at the jerks and that they're like applauding because they're enjoying it and like smiling and it's just it's just really nice to know that they're enjoying something that you've chosen to do. Um, and as a team, we absolutely smashed it tonight. We smashed this entire week. I just can't believe there's only like what is it f five weeks of actual shows left and then we're done. It's crazy. Today we are celebrating Pride! Woo woo woo! Ooh. And everyone in London, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'm very jealous. But yeah, Pride today, people! One more time, let's go, let's go! some bits and bobs but yeah I was kind of a write-off I'm not gonna lie I am um, when I got some food in between shows and I felt so ill afterwards I had like this cramping like it sounds disgusting but like I had to have a, like a tactical gender within the show just to like feel better because like, it, I just felt like it was all stuck here and it was horrible. And yeah, I just honestly really didn't feel like filming after the show. I felt so shit. So I apologise for that in advance. However, today is Sunday, which means the day off. So I'm getting a train back to Wales today. And then I think Tay and I are going to head into Cardiff and look at a few little bits and bobs. Because um, I officially move into the house in a week and a half ah, it seems crazy it literally feels like two minutes ago i was saying oh, i'm moving in in like two months but yeah it's a week and a half now so gonna go have a look at a few little bits and bobs and things that 
I might need along the way, which is very exciting, and I just cannot wait to chill and get there now. It's not a long train, but it's got two changes, which is like... <laughs> kitchen utensils and bowls and, and bowls and bowls our bowls a bowl a bowl a bowl what else spatula spatula priced up a toaster and a kettle <laughs> nice little combo 